lifting, you know, on the map. I mean, he was the, the worldwide star. Everybody knew Alex Zayev, you know, from right across Europe and across in, in the United States. Everybody loved the man. Great personality, great lifter. And, you know, we always look for somebody like that to, you know, come out and, and dominate and be extremely strong. But here's uh, Dragomir with his man Shane Haman for the United States opening clean and jerk. Yes, he was down to start on 225, but opting for... Coming up! Right! Very strong man. Well, he played with that. And again, you know, he's this sort of stocky build. He's really designed for the clean and jerk, isn't he? Yes, and coming in at uh, 227.5. So obviously, the warm up went well. So we're, we're expecting a new personal best from him as well. 197.5. He's improved his snatch. Uh, PB by two and a half kilos, the American, and now Gregor Kletch. Of course, the Poles with two in the competition. This man and Pavel Nidek. Nidek, the man who failed to get a snatch in the first half. So, 230 kilos, 507 pounds. Well, I'm glad he's stronger overhead than he was with the clean, because the clean didn't look that convincing, but... He's got a score on the board. He's got a total of 4-2-0. And uh, Kletch with 230 is now just five kilos below his personal mark in the clean and jerk. That's uh, the same mark that he achieved in the European Championships when he totaled up 410. So he's doing uh, better now. But you would expect that, David, uh, six months on down towards the end of the season. The bronze medalist from the first part. And this is important because of his light body weight. Remember, he's lighter than both Damianov and Razazadeh. He's lighter, of course, than Shane Haman. Everybody is. Yes, yeah, so this would put him on 430. Remember, he had a 440 posted. So, fairly realistic total. Oh, that was okay. Yeah, he's got this one. It's the next one, which is going to be the big question. Just uh, feeling that 430, the three white lights. Yes, and uh, for the moment that takes him into first place, but he's limping off, so... Yeah, but he's going to have a, a few minutes, David, to, to sort himself out. There's quite a few lifters to uh, take part and get involved now so he's he's going to have more than a couple of minutes to uh, work on this but the next the next lift will be the test but that's what this is all about you if you're not prepared to push yourself then uh, all those uh, hours and days and weeks and months in the gym will count for nothing so here comes a 10 kilo increase for the youngster Karasyov and uh, this will put him straight on his personal best mark well, this is what we thought he'd do. We thought he'd, he'd gone down, get a lift in, make a total, and then, uh, you know, he's not going to get a medal, so so the goal's got to be personal bests, which is exactly what he's doing. Quite a fussy preparation. Has a little look at the clock. Stop! Stop! 
Too close to the windpipe. Yeah, and he's held on. Yeah, they've got him. Well done to the loaders. Very quick. The boy's on there to uh, look after him. Just that little bit too close. This one is a hard clean. That heavy bar across the shoulders, pushing on the, the windpipe there and just cutting some of the oxygen supply off. You can see how close it is to the windpipe. Yeah, he did well to hold it there for as long as he... Uh, for one second, I thought he was actually going to get the chuck in and, and go for it. But he's got one more chance. It's good to see the loaders in there quickly. As I mentioned earlier, they are weightlifters, so they, they've probably had this happen to themselves in, in, in the gym. Well, I think the other point about it is, David, that um, you might have noticed there that there's a, a one metre gap between the uh, stage and the back wall. And um, the reality is that this is a sort of new arrangement that this, that's been done, which allows you to light the back wall. Uh, but what it does mean is that there's a trench to fall down. So the loaders have been alerted now by uh, the organisation that if they see a man or a woman in trouble, they have to get in there quickly. Normally they stay off the platform, but, but in this case now they're given permission to go in and save the day. So that's very necessary because in that sort of condition you could really hurt yourself. So Dragomir really working on Shane. Come on. <laughs> Little twit. That's uh, somebody sent in an email about that, about Dragomir uh, pulling in the ears. <laughs> Anybody ever pull your ears, David? No, I don't think so. <laughs> well, not in this particular situation. And one of the good things I think, David, that's happening in women's weightlifting is that the uh, the the, uh, the sort of physical side of you know slapping the women around i mean the coaches have got the message now and i'm glad to see that it doesn't happen because it wasn't a very nice thing i think the women are getting too strong for that now david yes. but is shane haman strong enough for this And it's fascinating. Dragomir is living this lift with his man. Come on up! Good clean. Bags of power. Yes, sir. But you've got to finish it off. Yes, it's interesting watching Dragomir. When, when the camera focuses in, you really can see him living it and, uh, you know, all the nerves and all, all, all the pressure. It's, it's, it's all coming back. Well, you know what it's like, David. You, you, you travel sometimes a very long distance, and you have a plan, you have an ambition, and you're not desperate, but you, you do really desire, you want to bring it off. And, you know, if it is a long journey home, well, achieving what you set out to do makes that journey so much more pleasant. Otherwise, you're, the miles, the hours on the aeroplane just seem endless. Yes, and also these 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 athletes will, been, will have been training for at least, or training hard for at least four months up to these. And uh, it's always nice to have the realisation of your uh, effort. You know how to do it. You know how to do it. You can probably hear that in the background. <laughs> but of course that's Dragomir. Yes. To Shane Hammond. <laughs> Well, that's how to do it. Well, or maybe not. Did he hold it for long enough? Hold your head, because you didn't. All the work. Well, that's interesting that we can hear what the coaches are saying in the background. I hope, uh, I hope you know how to do it. Is as is as colourful as it gets. No, I think it's you know how to do it. You know, which he does. 
and uh, the same remark could be uh, applied to Gregor Kletch. How many times have you been taught to finish off? That's a silly error. Yes, a big you, mistake. It's not over till it's over. Yeah, and it, you know, you were talking about the four months training, David. You know, we're you know we're not talking about you know half an hour down the gym, are we? I mean, we're talking about six days a week. Six days a week and up to, up to six hours a day. Weights, snatch, clean and jerk, <laughs> squats in the morning, snatch, clean and jerk, squats in the evenings. All limit weights for these guys. I mean, it's 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 tough. Well, that surprises me actually because he looked so powerful in that phase of the lift and uh, I would have thought that was much more of a self-belief thing than, than, than anything else. Well, he's, you know, he's, he's ended up on 425, which is equal to his personal best, but I think, that's a, I think that's ended up as being a disappointing afternoon, David. I think he's capable of, you know, going... He set himself a target at 430 and I'm disappointed he didn't get that. Mind you, the World Championships next year, which are the qualifying competitions for the Olympic Games in Athens in 2004. Well, those are in Vancouver next November. And of course, Shane will be not quite at home, but, you know, as close as he's going to get. And maybe that'll help him. Now. Zdecydowanie, Grzesiek. Now that may well have been Polish for you know how to do it. <laughs> now hold it there, finish it off, wait for the down signal. And uh, it's a shame he didn't do that the first time. Yeah, because that's it. 4.25, same end total as Shane Haman. He gets the higher placing, of course, because he's lighter than the American. But uh, everybody is. Kletch, 121.4 kilos, has achieved the same total as Shane Haman, who weighed in at 169.3. So, uh, 372 pounds, that is enormous. I suppose with these big guys, David, there's a sort of assumption that they can eat what they like, but they don't, do they? They have a dietary program as well. Well, I think some of them. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, most of them eat, do eat what they like. They eat